Good morning, folks. Hopefully we all caught last night's posting about there not being a catastrophic solar storm coming today or any time in the near future. Today we hold that line, visit Jupiter, discuss space weather health and the Arctic. But let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last 24 hours on our star calm once again, still no sunspots or solar flares, and the fact that the corona hole stream has not yet impacted Earth, and instead we've got sputtering in the telemetry, is indicative of a weaker stream and our KP forecast for this upcoming event is 4 to 5, minor disruptions only, with a maximum disruption possible of KP6, a moderate event. While system harmony means that those minor effects could be seen system-wide in the lithosphere and atmosphere, they would be minor and not of major concern. The modest stream is likely to impact before we speak again. Folks, it sure is nice to have some of our tools back. And look at what happened over the last day. We had three connections to the Earth-facing coronal hole, but now we only have two. I'd have expected that to go up, and we are indeed still awaiting a magnetic connection proper to that Earth-facing opening today. Let's go out to Jupiter, where the study of the red spot has continued to demonstrate its diminishing in size. And instead of finding stronger winds like they expected inside, they are showing an increase in the height of the storm. As it shrinks, it also grows taller. Interesting. Up next, I want to hit the twin study. Two links below to Space Weather Health articles covering structural eye changes, increased stress, increased inflammation, immune dysfunction, and 7% of their DNA changed. Up next, two stories that confirm what most of our viewers already know. Increasing freshwater melt is disrupting deep ocean convections. This will keep the methane releases near the bottom and the cold, fresh, desalinating water on top. It's the same minor day-after-tomorrow scenario described by Yale in their Beaufort Gyre ticking cold climate bomb story. And now let's get a third confirmation on a more macro scale. The warmer the Arctic, the colder the winters will be for the United States. Enjoy your day, folks. I'll be eyeing that solar wind stream and the non-catastrophic effects it is likely to have. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.